All right, this is Sergey Bello with Time Valve Tennis, and let's stop right here for a second. If you haven't watched our video on tips for how to take care of high balls, you gotta go back and check the video of our rates, and then go back to this video. So if you haven't checked that one, I'll suggest to go back, check the video out, and I'll see you back here again. So I can wait, take your time. Now, if you have watched that video, then you're welcome to watch this one, because we're gonna give you a progression how to improve your uh, positioning and how to hit those high balls that you know some pushers or grinders can hit those high balls so now we're gonna give you general ones that work for a beginner or more advanced players and a couple of tips couple of trick tricks that uh, more advanced players can use or even sometimes even beginners if you feel comfortable with it in this case we're gonna use our body ball machine and see what we can do let's jump into it If you don't have a partner grab a ball machine make sure uh, tweak and twist those buttons you know so you can get a nice high topspin pace of the ball approximate to the players you play against and struggle with you can even increase the height decrease the height whatever you guys want to do or you can ask somebody to fit balls to you or just hit high balls back to you, you can do live ball whatever works for you the best and uh, and whenever you get it set up so the first drill we're gonna try and it's the best thing to do obviously for you if you can is taking the ball early right so we're gonna try we're gonna and keep repeating this drill until you succeed make sure you work on a few things most important is split of step shoulder turn early preparation and taking the ball early so what are we talking about is taking the ball from your hip level to your shoulder level obviously somewhere in the middle will be the best so you want to make sure you prepare as early as possible so you have extra time to prepare a lot of people when they see the high ball coming to them right at them they feel like all right i got it you know not a big deal the ball's right here so they stop their feet completely way before you're going to hit the ball and what happens is most of the time you misjudge it and the ball bounces too far away from you or too close to you and you end up getting jammed or just hitting the ball in the wrong point of contact so now that's why it's so important to have those little adjustment steps uh, to prepare. Now, when you're a more advanced level, even the high ball might come pretty fast. So sometimes those very short steps kind of disappear. People hit open stance and make more medium steps. But for beginners, I believe it's important to make those adjustment steps, short steps to get ready and prepare to hit that ball. So we're gonna take a few swings that does uh, the balls, try and take it on the rise. If you miss it not a big deal keep trying keep trying until you succeed now the, another one you can do if you see the high a high ball coming to you you can take the ball in the air. You don't even have to let the ball bounce. Just step in, make sure it turns sideways like you're hitting a regular ground stroke. Still take it on the same point of contact as you would with the ball that bounces and practice those shots. Uh, that's one of the options that it can be probably the best for you. Also, you can come into the net for the next ball. Now we're gonna try to mix it up. So let's see if you can hit one ball uh, early and another ball when you go back. So after you have accomplished both of them, try to see if you can mix it up and hit one early and one when you move back. And let's see how you do. So another thing you can do to get out of tough situation is on your backhand side, especially if you're one-handed backhand, is slice that high ball. If, in, in, let's assume you tried to take it early, you, you couldn't. You can't even go back anymore, the ball bounces. And you know one-handed backhand here is gonna be so tough. 
that you can slice the ball it's a lot easier to take that ball as slice trust me you can just slice the ball back and get ready reset for the next point let's try a couple of times Now, the last, the very last one, it's, it works against ultimate pushers. The guys that hit the ball so high that you can get a cough in between, jump uh, to the pool, come back, and you the ball is still going to be flying. So the ball bounces so high, and I mean, this is the most annoying thing. So in order to prevent that from happening, I find that sometimes it's easy, because the height of the ball is ridiculous. I mean, it goes above your head so far that you actually have time to hit an overhead from the baseline. And trust me, it's not that hard. If you have a pretty decent serve, you have the full court open to hit uh, an overhead to open court. You can hit a slice overhead, out wide or down the tee. You can get as much power as you want to. And you have, I don't know how many, 24 feet just to make the ball in. So you could try that as well. We're gonna introduce you that in a second. There could be a situation where the ball is coming high and you're moving from one side to another and you realize you don't have no chance to take it early. The ball comes, the ball almost bounces. You didn't have time to get to it and take the ball on the rise. The second solution for you is to wait for the ball to come up and get down to the point of contact that you like. For some beginner players that haven't practiced enough, it could be the first option in any way because you try to take it early, just keep shanking balls, maybe. You still have to work on your early shoulder turns, split steps and things like that that you have to do outside of your match play. Uh, but then let's assume, you know, you, you got late. So back up and try to move back sideways, do crossover step that, that Aritz was talking about in the previous video. Make sure you set up well, still early shoulder turn. You can take a full back swing this time and, and make sure to let the ball drop in a comfortable level. Now try to practice those higher top spin balls because you want to give yourself time to recover. Even if you hit really powerful flat ball and it comes short you're taking time away from yourself and your opponent can step in and drive the ball to the open court where you're going to be in trouble so make sure to work on that cross court high top spin ball unless your opponent has tremendously a weaker other side of uh, whatever is a forehand or back and you want to just loop the ball to that side and let's practice that let's see how it goes <laughs> 